Uh, there's an adage that says uh, it's a Yoruba. It mm. says, If you know what that means. Uh, let me put it in the modern terms, meaning sometimes you need to learn things yourself in order for you not to be lied to about those things. When there's a king and there's a warlord that I call upon because it's not mostly ridiculous for a crown king to get on a horse and go to war. Mm. It's not popular. Yes. There's always a delegation to that. Yes. Before the war gets to the king, it gets to the bathroom first. Yes. It takes the heat. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? If anything like that. So that means even Bashar himself would need to live at the border town, not in the, in the city itself. So right. whatever is coming, he experiences first and send a message back to the palace. So it's never far-fetched. It's always been like that. You've heard of Bashar in Ghana? Yes. He killed almost like four Alafi, like almost three to four Alafi. Hmm. That's somebody who is supposed to be subjected to the king, but because he had issue when he was younger, and he felt like, no, I'm going to go this direction. I'm very, very vindictive. And that's that about that. I say it all the time. People of that time are much more hard at heart than mm. now. We are, we are very liberal now. <laughs> right. Jonas, I think that right. Back then, it's tough. You offend anybody, they go against you whichever way they want to go to, diabolical, whichever way. Yes. They conspire to kill innocent. You understand? So it was tough. Mm. So, thinking or letting those two characters drive the story is not far-fetched at all. Yes. They were merciless mm. back then. Mm. Potent poison is available. I can get to summon witchcraft on your behalf. Right. It's that tough. Right. So, there's no... The, the act of forgiveness, I think it comes with this Christianity thing and stuff and all that. Because back then, no, it's I for... I fly. You choke me, I choke you. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So that energy has always been an integral part right. of life. So if that is now brought to this story, it's never far-fetched. Awesome. We still have people that are very vindictive now. Mm. They don't want to hear no. You offend them. No, they must revenge. They won't tell you, but they have plans. Uh, maybe it's because that girl was stupid. Ooh. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, because I don't know, by the end of it, Love conquer it all. The the firstly, maybe if the parents, my own opinion, were staying together, if it wasn't like a single, it was more of like a single father, a single mm -hmm. parent. The yes. father was more like a single to to her because mm -hmm. she didn't really have time with her mom. Right. You understand? So maybe if they were together, maybe it won't even be like that. Because mm -hmm. at some point I was looking at, yeah, it's good to it's good to love, right? Mm -hmm. One day mm -hmm. you have to marry. Mm -hmm. But I was saying the fact that the Guy is your father's rival. He's one thing that should, yeah. should be like a major turn off. Yes. Because of course you won't want your father to wallow in poverty. Absolutely. But in this case, he didn't even stop anything. Mm. So you understand? And he kept going. And then there was another thing to crash it up. Your mom says, This person has, has had something with me. And then, but maybe that time because she was already, she has gone too far. Right. Yeah, and I think so that's I that's so the just... that's the kind of that's the poetic justice there. Yeah. <laughs> I love yeah. That's that's it because in, in, in reality it might not pan out like that. Yeah. And I think one of the strongest factor is because the dad and Sarah, they were rivals. Right. Yeah. They're business rivals. Get it. If, even the dad wouldn't have anything to do with the with, love. Yeah. If, if the business if the yeah. business wasn't, you know, wasn't yeah. in mind. Because I, I think the man himself is liberal minded yeah. until he started feeling encrouched yeah. in his own space. space yeah. Yes. If they were business partner on a journey yeah. to different path, it would have been different. But in same town, time to get so the anger to get her off his back is yeah. actually coming from that business point of view. Not even from the love yeah. angle at all. Yes. Right. So mm. it felt like the the, the she's is losing everything to one person. He's losing mm. his dearly beloved daughter, mm. and then he's losing his business. Yes. So he yes. was losing two things two at things the same time, time to the same person. So you know. So you and know from the love perspective too, I always say this: the minute you unite with someone else as a unit of a family, that becomes your primary cause. You get. Mm. Yeah. Meaning your parents now become secondary. secondary. Interesting. Yes. Not like they are neglected, no. Mm -hmm. But you tend to what you are Prioritize trying to build as you know, as regards to what's already been built that you just need to maintain. Right. So something like that. It wasn't really hard to play, 
but the fact that the, the it was contradictory to what the to the opinions of her parents was what made it a bit challenging for her because I mean she had to choose between in fact the father told her at some point that you have to choose between this person and your and me and because she wasn't staying with her mom I mean so it was more of like a father then the fact that it was like a father's rival so that again. Do you understand? Right. But of course, one time in life, she has to move. She can't keep staying with her parents or right. her father. Most right. importantly. Yeah, so it was that one. So she was, it left her in a confused state. Yes. Yeah, but regardless, we move. Mm. Mm -hmm. I've always been a part of the process of Arne Kulabu. Nice. So it's not new. Um, I've said this before. I said originally it was meant to be a series from onset. Yeah. So the movie was like a spin-off to see if audience would accept it. And on the long run, it happened just that way. So we had to go into the series as right. well. So um, we've had plenty of discussions in from creating the story, weaving it, going, you know, whatever direction we wanted to go. You know, and um, he loved the fact that, okay, now that we're doing this whole thing, I want you to be in this position. And I said, oh, it's good. Though I'm familiar with Akin's character, I said, okay, it's not bad. And um, I've, um, I'm a big fan of anything culture. You know, I'm a big fan of that because it's always that time where you refine your tongue. You know, and um, if you've had a lot of metropolitan vibe to your lifestyle, <laughs> you, like it's, it's a hair. so this is the time where you have to sit down, you know, unlearn to relearn. You know, so that you can, you know, be in that world that has been created. So I, I love things like that. It was fun. So getting on board with him, natural selection, you know, natural selection. And, and Aki is, 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 is a guy that goes through all feelings, you know, all feelings generally that right. normal human beings will go through. So he's not, um, he's not a flat character. It's, it has that boisterousness to his life, right. you know. Having to be a strong person and at the same time weak for love, you know, and uh, blending all those feelings together, each scene, each interpretation, subtextual analysis of each lines and right. all of that. So it was, it was, it was really a good time. And hey, now my brother did that. <laughs> yeah. So it, it became more fun, you know. Apart from the professional side of it, we're able to, you know, to get into the blood relationship side of it to see that okay. This is legacy for us, and we have to keep upholding and keep getting stronger with each job that we, any of us is part of. Mm, yeah, he ignited it because in my head. No, Toria likes the, interesting the, guy. Ah, yeah. <laughs> she's that type. So she's like, uh, uh -huh. okay, she knows that thing. So our face was like she, she gave him attitude. No man. Yeah, no. but if you notice, one time she smiled and said that mm -hmm. Boba Jojo me, mm -hmm. Logwa I indicate to to yeah, uh, which means use and that's how I used to that. Like you know, one. try something <laughs> new. You know, so it wasn't new to her, but the smile, the, the effort was like a turn on for her, like okay. Right. Mm. So you could tell from the countenance if you saw that scene. Mm. You know, she was like, you can't really put uh -huh. a finality to. Any of all this, sure, we can't have that conversation and finish it now. Yeah. You know, because like I said, everything is a process. Even with the characters, right. their life takes time. It's not rushed. This is a series. Yeah. They have a long mm -hmm. way to uh -huh. So we can't, we can't trample everything or choke them all up. We have to see the process of how that love would unveil if there's going to ever be. Yes. But, the contribution to making the love happen is what you will now need to watch and study, mm. which is the main thing itself, even beyond the love that we're even talking about. How selfless it gets in making that happen. It's a form of way to teach people, if you want something, don't expect less. I mean, don't expect too much from right. that thing. Right. Do you understand? Go through the process. Because mostly, ah, okay, we can have a chit chat with hey, this guy did toast me. Hey, <laughs> ah, but me, I don't know. Eh, ah, okay, we could try him. Do you understand what I mean? Yes. Meaning, not like she doesn't like it, but she wants to see if man enough to go through, you know, all those process of getting a girl.